but the memory door is going to be down here and I'm trying to find the optimal way to get to it probably like so so I, there's a little plastic cover on it protected plastic rather take that off first and then there's this door and there's a little switch right above the power plug that you can push there's a little button in there and I may have to get the top of an ink pen because it needs something to, to push so I'm just going to use this right here the top of, a, of an ink pen and you'll see that little white button right above the power plug where the power plug goes push down that, the, the door up above will pop open should pop open it just takes a little bit of work here There we go. And it is, and I'm going to turn this so you can kind of see. See, I'm prying this little, this little door open. So that's the door that popped off. Keep it in the same orientation there. And then you'll see your modules. Now, in my case, I ordered with 16 gigs. So I've got two 8 gig sticks. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the memory that I bought because it was less expensive than buying with 32 from Apple. You can find a link to this within this video's description. And I'm simply going to put it in. Always touch your desk or whatever to make sure you're discharged. You know, static electricity can really, really destroy a computer, you know. So, I'm going to put this in. One module at a time. Play, uh, pay attention to your uh, to your modules because there's a short end and a and a longer end. Look in there at the uh, at the slot, and at least on mine, I'll see that the shorter end of the module goes to the right. So I'm pushing out. There's these two white tabs in here. You push out, and it allows this memory door to lift down. Once the memory door lifts down, put your modules, and again, make sure you're, you're lining it up right. Look at the slot in there. And you never want to force with this, but you want to make sure it's seated. So with your fingers, gently push, make sure it seats in and and then kind of visually inspect and make sure that it's um, yep looks good and then I'm going to do the second module again these are 8 gig modules so since it came with 16 I'm adding 16 more and 16 times 2 is 32 And I mean, I saved a ton of cash, like I said, doing this on my own. Keep in mind, if you buy the Mac with the minimum amount of memory, it's likely going to have four modules, which means that you would have to discard. See, this, this came with two eights. So the maximum configuration for, the, for this iMac is 32 gigs. So I had to buy two more eights. But pay attention to that, because if you bought it with other configurations, <laughs> 
you're probably going to end up spending more money and not using some of the modules. Okay, so all of those are in there. I just did a, a, a uh, finger sweep to make sure they feel, feel secure. This is obviously something you don't want to have to be opening on a regular basis, so make sure it's done right the first time. Once they're in there, well seated, push these little tabs back in gently. And then they'll lock in on the side. Check your modules again, make sure they're seated, and then put your door back on. I laid it down so I remember the orientation. And it's, it's kind of a funny feeling when it snaps in. It's just the design of it. But once it snaps in, it's flush. And if you ever needed to remove that again for whatever reason, it's, again, it's that little button right above your power, your power thing right there. So, this is it. This is the unboxing and the memory installation for the new 5K iMac. And check out my other videos. I'm going to do a review again. This is just the unboxing. And I threw the, uh, threw the memory upgrade procedure in as an extra Easter egg. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe to youtube.com forward slash irixguy and enjoy all my videos. Like I said, I'm going to be posting a plethora of videos pertaining to the 5K Display iMac. Thanks for watching and y'all have a good day.